Hey there, this is the Monk 52, and today we're going to cover World of Warships. So I'm going to be covering these uh, new Italian cruisers, World of Warships Legends. We're going to look at the builds, the guns, the armour, and how to get the most out of these ships that you're going to play. So let's talk about the guns. Let's go on with these. Now, these are four double-barreled 152mm. AP damage on this tier, nothing special, just the base. Um, 13.4 13 second reload, quite a big reload, <clears throat> but these guns, I don't know, these Italian guns, they hit very hard. They have immense penetration values. As a result of these overpenning guns, you actually have the skill called subtle manipulations, which is quite funny, the, the icon, but there we go, my <laughs> after that. Um, it boosts your AP shell damage, always nice, just like Punch Through does. Uh, very similar, 5%, 5%, so very good. Um, it reduces the time of your detonation of your AP shells by 90%. So this prevents or reduces the lower chance of overpenetrating and, and a reduction of basically shell gripping accuracy, so just accuracy of the guns, the, the closeness your shells are to your target. So you get more spread out shots, which isn't great, but the 90% reduction does help. I've tested with them without. I think it does help. I would definitely recommend running this skill over anything else. In terms of the commander builds, I would definitely run beyond range. You don't want to spec into high explosive too much because they should be getting semi or piercing. And the high explosive in these things are. It's just. It's just not very good. It's pretty abysmal. Because. But I will say about the high explosive is you need to switch when you're shooting at destroyers, just like every other ship in this game. Unlike the British, you cannot use the armor piercing to reliably damage destroyers. When semi armor piercing comes, you'll be using that, but in the meantime, for using high explosive, high explosive still gets the job done. <clears throat> so high explosive with destroyers and angled battleships, maybe potentially angled cruisers, but the penetration values of the AP is very good, so it might actually be worth still using the amp piercing. Now, let's talk about the torpedoes. Um, well, stock torpedoes, 51 knots. I got this, and I got the upgrade on. Let me just take the upgrade off real quick. Yeah, let's take off the, take off the upgrade there. Stock torpedoes, 51 knots. Uh, ten and a half kilometers range. I'll take off that mod for you. Let's put on a rough rubbish commander. Let's see. Put the, this one on. I'll take off that ramming damage. Yeah, that's a this will do. This will do. Put that on. Put that. On. That. There we go. Just something that I'll never notice the difference. You know. There we go. Just for pure building into this. So let's take a look. We'll get to that. Torpedoes. 10 kilometer range, 51 knots, 1 kilometer deck to build with very stealthy torps. Wow, they go unbelievably slow. Good thing is, though, these things reload relatively quick for torpedoes, and you've got two on each side. 84 seconds. I think the ambos are pretty quick. 106 seconds. 70 seconds, these are all down to, way down to 55 seconds, so you can fire a lot. So. <clears throat> Predictive torping is your best bet. Uh, if you don't fire them, you never get potential damage out of it, you never know what you might hit. Definitely send them down corridors. Predictive torping is what you have to do with these boats, because if you're aiming where they're going to be, it takes a whole, it can take a whole minute. For them to actually reach their target, so it's probably going to miss. So, unless you have a very, very, shall I say, straight line of player who just refuses to change course for a whole minute, then these torps are not going to be used normally. You'd have to do some predictive torp and you have to think about how you're going to torp. But the indicator is not going to help you as much as any other ships would. You can brawl with these ships, but <sighs> only two torpedoes can limit how much you actually want to do. You gotta be careful. Definitely gotta be careful. They do provide uh, 
10 kilometers range and if you buff up my with my account build. Yeah, let's talk about the speed of these things um, and, and you know, let's talk about the agility. So these ships are got good speed, very good speed, very good rudder ship, very, turn, very good turning circle. These are very agile ships. So you're definitely going to use the agility. Also one thing of noting, they can slow down rather quickly. So if you're popping a smoke screen, if you're kiting, stopping and slowing down can help you quite a bit as well. Unlike ships like the Emerald British cruisers that tend to take quite a lot of time to slow down. I don't know what the Italians have to make them slow their ships slow down faster, but I'm not complaining. It's quite nice. So, uh, one thing to note as well, no sonar. So you dodging torpedoes is going to have to be purely on your skill of predictive where you think your torps are going to be, your maneuvering capabilities, and your just general situational awareness because we do not have sonar, unlike every other tier 4 uh, cruiser and above, even tier 3 as well, I think sonar. Even tier 6 does not have the sonar, I don't have the tier 6, but I've, I've looked it up and you know, no sonar at all for these ships, which is interesting. But yeah, you need to keep be aware of that and torpedoes can be a problem. The damage reduction is 16%, which is yeah, it's better than some. The armor is uh, Russian based, as in the citadel is raised, so you can actually use that to bounce shells if you angle correctly. The angle is quite hard to reach, and you might be able to get it about there, maybe. If you see an incoming shell coming straight at the ship from this angle. You can actually use the citadel armor to bounce the shells. Now, it does make no, it doesn't make a lot of sense because most of the ships are aiming for the citadel, but the citadel is the most armed part of the ship. So using that to angle using citadel armor can be quite effective. A straight shot will hit the citadel, but if you angle the citadel armor, you might actually get away with a lot more. So that's definitely worth noticing. Now, these ships are built around is armor piercing shells. The same armor piercing is going to come out at some point so we can comfortably say it's only going to get armor piercing based shells regardless of what you switch to. So you're either switching to armor piercing or semi armor piercing and semi armor piercing still uh, struggles against angled targets. You'll still do more yes but against angled targets you'll do less damage. So Regardless of what you switch to, you want to be finding broadside targets. <clears throat> so, the ship is built around AP. How do we capitalize on using only armor piercing or signal piercing in the future? Well, just like every good player, you want to try and create flanking maneuvers in order to catch enemy ships off guard and catch their broadside targets. So. With these cruisers, it's literally built to that. You have this amazing speed. Uh, for the currently the Monte Cajoli, 37 knots, unbuffed I believe. You have this smoke. And you have this devastating uh, AP turning. You have all these tools. You have the speed and the smoke. You have them play into spot while you're in the smoke as well. You have these opportunities to go round to an enemy flank and pepper them with AP. Uh, smoke up and farm a little bit, or smoke up and run away, or simply stop firing. Because your concealment, I have this buff by the way, without, even without a camel, is 9.1. If I add a camel real quick, just add something basic, this will do. 8.7. And the firing the smoke penalty, 4.2. That's pretty extreme. You have superior stealth, agility, and speed over your cruiser counterparts, and even some destroyers. So you can either use that speed to run away, pursue your targets, or kite away from the enemy. Speeding and seamant allow this ship to shine as well as its devastating AP to be used to good effect. 
Now, as you see here in this game, I've got myself a bit of predicament fighting the last remaining three ships, but I'm using the smoke screen to hide myself from the Gaspard. I don't have sonar, so I need to be careful about these torpedoes. I know they're coming, so I'm doing my best to use my agility, use my speed, and use my smoke screen to full effect. Notice I'm still switching the AP. I've got to keep using the AP because it is very devastating. Luckily for me, Gaspard torpedoes run out of gas, or it could have been the Omaha torpedoes. Omaha has given me a relative broadside. Let's send him packing as well. This is that Italian AP. When you get to use that AP, it's absolutely wonderful. We've got three seconds left on my AP. I might as well send it towards the Gaspard way. Then they'll switch because that this reload is significantly long. Even AP is better. Oddly enough, I actually bounced. So. Quite funny, but there we go. Uh, switching back to HE for the destroyer, as I should. Alright, now, this is very close brawling range. You've got to be careful about where I send these to because I have to make sure they are not going to miss. So, very close, and okay. I know he's going to kill me, and that's okay, because I got him. That's my tracking, devastating strike, that's my high caliber. What you saw that whole game is me going around the flank, shooting broadside targets, getting citadels, 10 citadels that match, 62,000. You can see the effect of how you play these ships. So, borderline 63,000, 10 citadels, 5 kills, which is Kraken, devastating strike, high caliber, and you saw what happened at the end there the effect of the AP on those broadsides. When you play the ship to its strengths, you can see how well it can perform. And this, is, as this isn't even the best game you can get. This is just my most successful game at the minute. But I'm still working on more. I hope this helps uh, you get to grips with the Italian cruisers. And hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.